James K. Polk was the 11th president of the United States. He was a Democrat and a dark horse candidate. So people were like, who are we gonna make president? James Polk? And people were like, oh, why not? Dude looked like this. First president to have his picture taken while in office, and he rocked the mullet 140 years before its time. Polk came into office with five different campaign promises. Treasury, he'd reestablish it. Tariffs, he'd lower them. Territories, he split the Oregon territories between the United States and Britain, thus making him the first president to do the whole manifest destiny thing. And he started the Mexican-American War to get all these Southwest territories. Some people didn't quite like this, though, including abolitionist Henry David Thoreau, who wrote his famous essay on civil disobedience on it. Anyway, the fourth promise term, he would only serve one, and he got everything done in it. Polk is the only president who did everything he promised to do. Oh, and besides that, he introduced postage stamps and established the Smithsonian Institute. So Polk was inarguably the most successful president. Polk literally worked himself to death, though, and died three months after the whole president thing was over. Didn't leave any kids, though. Can't really blame him. Because, oh my god, his wife was ugly. <laughs> Not the most well-known and not the most well-liked, depending on how you feel about the Mexican-American War. Hey everyone, look. It's a kitty!